Hey guys, it's me, Dominique. Um, I'm back and I decided to record another video. At first, I was not going to record this video because I feel and I felt like it will turn into a rant more than just what I'm intending it to be. But we'll just see how it goes. So this video, I am going to title it maybe Team Mom Sports Mom Etiquette. Or supporting mom etiquette. Okay. This past season, my son, as you guys know, if you're watching this for the first time and you just happen to stumble upon this video, um, my son plays football. My son's eight years old. He plays Optimus football. This season, he had a new teammate join the team. The new teammate joined the team. And along with new teammates comes a new set of parents to get to know. I feel like team mom etiquette comes into play. As a mom, a busy mom, a wife, and now a working mom, I know that when your child does extracurricular activities, it is not the easiest thing to be the most involved in. I get that. I understand that. And I know especially sometimes when you're a single mom, it's not the easiest thing to get involved in and fluctuate and stuff. I mean, not fluctuate. To get involved in and to be a part of. But I urge all of you moms out there, if you have some way, somehow decided to put your child in an extracurricular activity, whether it be playing sports, music, um different clubs at school to be an involved parent it's very important that if your child looks on the sideline or to the side that they see the support of their parents even if you can't make every tournament every recital every game just try to make one or two or however long the the duration of the term or the season is just try to make yourself a presence there so your child knows that you're not just dropping them off to be babysat. Okay. Two, get to know the other parents that are a part of this team, organization, whatever. Get to know the other parents because getting to know the other parents can make it one more comfortable with you because if you happen to not be there as much, you know the parents who are like constantly there. So these things can help you in the long run. If for one, maybe if I'll use football as an example. If you can't make a game time early in the morning and you've gotten to know one of the other parents and they don't mind your child riding with their child to the end because they plan on making it at that exact time but you you won't be able to make it exactly until the game starts or during the game getting to know them would be beneficial in that end or if you near child needs to ride home and you've got to know someone and you've noticed that you've got to know that you and that person live on the same block so if you go to school or you're doing something else besides having your child do this extracurricular activity you can have a little help because it takes a village that's two get to know the other parents don't alienate yourself from the other parents or make yourself seem like you're so busy that you can't do what they're doing as parents because please believe everyone everyone or the good majority of who has their child in an extra activity is doing it for the benefit of their child. We all are out there. We all make the sacrifices. Like I told you in my update video, which is right here, that although I, it's bittersweet for me because the I didn't want the season to end like that for my son's team, but it's also sweet to be because I'm glad to have a little bit of free time again because when you're doing extracurricular activities with your children, you don't get a lot of free time. <laughs> but 
but you want to you, you do things like that so your child gets their enrichment of being around different environments learning new things and things like that okay I think this would be the last point because I'm, I may go on and go in on a tangent with this one. Lastly, and this is for the sports parents. Lastly, if your child plays on a team, do not, and I repeat, do not talk about or disrespect anyone else's child on the team because the team is called a team for a reason no one child makes mistakes and causes the wins or losses for the team no one child so please it's okay to be on the sideline saying go to your son or say for me like go shoddy yeah shoddy especially with football yeah shoddy smash him yeah, try to make the big hit because that's what football is. But it's not okay to say, oh, my child can't make a touchdown because your child isn't doing this. Or your child isn't holding on to the ball. It's not okay to say that because you have to remember, these are still kids. These are still kids. So, you as an adult should know better to not say these type of things because your own children are feeding... Are feeding off of your energy so if you're on the sideline berating somebody else's child your child's going to do it on the field and that's not going to create a good team environment and when you make it seem like your child is the one that does the most on the team and the rest of the team doesn't do anything that creates a bad environment for your child so not only are you creating a bad environment for other people's children you're creating a bad environment for your child because when you make it seem like your child is the superstar of the team you alienate your child your child and that makes the rest of the team not want to do as much as they can do because now you're making it seem like your child is doing it all by by themselves and you don't want to instill that into them this young in age because as they get as they get older and they start to be around kids and the kids start to form their own opinions now you have your child playing running back and you're making it seem like your child is a superstar of the team and your child is the one carrying the team you know what's going to happen when these linemen and everybody else that's supposed to protect your child because your child has the ball in their hand when they hearing that your child is doing everything they're more inclined to let your child get hit and not protect your child in the ball because you're making it seem like their roles on the team isn't as important as your child's role. So, in all that, you guys, I know I, I have moms started watching like, what, are you, what is she talking about? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I said two years ago, what that? If I was watching me and listening to these football terms, I'd be like, what the hell is she talking about too? But, I'm saying all that to say, especially with sports parents, do not, because you're a parent, you're a mom, you're a dad, you're a guardian. Don't be the parent, be a grown up, and don't berate somebody else's child or, you know, call out somebody else's child when they're a part of a team. When it's when it's a team sport like football, basketball, soccer, it takes more than one person to lose a game and to win a game. So just keep that in mind. Um, oh, I thought I was gonna go into a tangent. I didn't maybe just a little bit <laughs> anyway that's my video so until next video i'm out